Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to talk to us a little about enduring the storm. Amen. And so Proverbs 10, um, 23 through 25, it says, A fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes, but a person of understanding delights in wisdom. What the wicked dread will overtake them and what the righteous desire will be granted. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. Listen, we all go through trials in life. Amen. There may be um, health trials, whether it's a relationship, financial, um, emotional, whatever it may be. We all go through trials at some point in our lives. Amen. But all of our hardships and difficulties end up um, being spiritual trials as well. So when we find ourselves in these trials and these tribulations of life, we may also find ourselves asking questions such as, you know, where is God? when it hurts. I'm hurting. Where is God? Right. We may also find ourselves asking a question as to why, you know, why does God allow me to go through such struggles and storms in my life? Right. But scripture never promised us that we would not have trials or tribulations, right? The word of God does not promise us that we will be able to go through this life without encountering any storms or setbacks. And there's no promise that life is going to be easy, you know, that life is going to be gravy, that life is going to be a walk in the park. It doesn't promise us that um, life is smooth sailing, right? Actually, what it does say is and what it does promise that we will have trials, right? God doesn't... Um, he, he doesn't beat around the bush. He gets straight to the point. We, we will. He says you will have trials, right? Of many kinds. Amen. There will be afflictions. There will be storms will come. Right. Uh, and it says to think it not strange because they're coming. Amen. It does. not And so God promises what he also promised is that he will be with us. Amen. He promised that he's with us always. He is Emmanuel and he is with us from now and to the end of time. So through those storms of life, he He's our anchor. He would be our anchor, right? And so in the best way to test the strength of the anchor, of an anchor, of our anchor, is to what? Be in a storm, to endure the storm. Amen. And Jesus taught that whoever follows his teaching is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. And this is in Matthew 7, around 24 through 27. It says, when a heavy storm came, the house did not fall. It was built on a solid foundation. So I believe that the passage of scripture in Proverbs that, that um, I shared earlier, it, it kind of call it has the same call, right? It's calling us to build our lives on wisdom and righteousness, right? And that is having a right relationship with God. Amen. And so when we do that, we will be securely anchored uh, and able to endure the storms of life. We'll be like the tree that's planted by the rivers of water because storms will come and wind is going to blow. We may bend, but we are not going to break. Why? Because we have our foundation built on a solid rock, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And right. And with God as our foundation, we can stand the, the, the we can stand firm in the storm. Amen. We can trust that our destiny is safe in his hands. And when, and then, you know, we can pray, you know, when we're, we should always be praying, but in our prayer, we ask our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ to guide us, to protect us, um, through the storms of life, right. To help us to trust him in the midst of the storm, right. In the midst of the trials, in the midst of the tribulations, because he is with us. He, he is with us. He's there to lead us and to guide us. Amen. We are never alone, right? And he and, um, ask him to lead us and to help us to have and to be in right relationship with him. Amen. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, blessings. Mm -hmm.